Hi, I'm Jerry Conter, your chairman, coming to you for the last time as the chairman of the National Association of Home Builders. As my year as NHB chairman draws to a close and we prepare for new leadership, I want to reflect on the successes of 2022 and the housing industry prospects for 2023 and beyond. We began the year with a successful International Builder Show in Orlando, coming together for the first time in two years to learn about the latest in home building. As supply chain challenges worsened and housing affordability reached new lows, NHB went into action, launching grassroots efforts and media pushes to get the issue in front of the administration. These initiatives resulted in several meetings with the White House over the following months. NAHB leadership testified on behalf of the industry on Capitol Hill on a variety of issues, including increasing diversity in the workforce and addressing supply chain bottlenecks. And when Congress was developing the Inflation Reduction Act legislation, NAHB pushed to ensure provisions that are beneficial to residential construction were included in the final version. In June, NAHB co-hosted the second innovative housing showcase on the National Mall in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. This event brought thousands of visitors and showcased housing on the nation's front lawn. During the year, where housing employment saw unprecedented growth, NHB worked to grow a culture of membership. Throughout the year, we encouraged a strong NHB membership culture to support our mission. Looking at the year ahead, high inflation and mortgage interest rates are likely to lead to a significant slowdown in new residential construction. With the potential for a recession this year, NHB staff experts have been preparing resources that can support our members during this potential downturn. We will always work to protect our members' businesses. It has been an interesting and challenging year. Through all the ups and downs, I have drawn strength from my fellow members all around the country. I look forward to collaborating with my member colleagues for years to come and I thank you all for the opportunity you afforded me to become chairman.